Have you ever felt like you're cruising through life on autopilot? Or that emotions are a distant concept, difficult for you to grasp? You probably do if you clicked this video, but you're not alone. There's a term for this feeling, alexithymia. It refers to the struggle to identify, understand, and express one's feelings. What is alexithymia? Alexithymia isn't a mental health disorder itself, but it often comes alongside conditions like autism spectrum disorder, depression, PTSD, and brain injuries. It's like living in a constant fog of emotions, where even the simplest feelings can be hard to find. Around 13% of people all over the world suffer from alexithymia. Signs of alexithymia. Now, before you start thinking, am I alexithymic? Hold up. It's not just about having a bad day or being a little out of touch with your emotions. Alexithymia is like living in a constant emotional fog where even the simplest feelings can seem elusive. Some signs to look out for are difficulty understanding your feelings beyond good or bad, relying on logic rather than feelings, feeling emotionally numb or detached all the time, uncertainty of your own needs and desires, trouble telling physical sensations apart from emotions, limited imagination or fantasy life, struggle to grasp others' emotions or show empathy, sudden unexplained loss of motivation or drive, weak sense of self or identity. These signs might show up differently for each person, but if you are nodding along to a few, it might be worth exploring further. Causes of alexithymia. So, why does alexithymia happen? There's no one-size-fits-all answer. Sometimes it's in your genes. You might have inherited a tendency for alexithymia from your family. Other times, it's all about the experiences you've had. Maybe you've been through some tough stuff that made you shut down emotionally as a way to cope. It's more common among those who've gone through childhood trauma, abuse, or brain injury. Having substance abuse, anxiety, depression, eating disorders, or OCD can also play a part. Finally, alexithymia is more common among men, 17%, than women, 10%. Living with alexithymia. It's tough when you can't understand your own feelings. Because all emotions feel the same to them, people with alexithymia don't even realize most of the time when they're upset, in pain, or even having a panic attack. Your emotions tend to culminate in meltdowns that seem sudden and unexplained to you, and you likely need to be told by other people what you're feeling. Connecting with others can also be a constant struggle. Relationships can feel strained because expressing and interpreting emotions is like speaking a different language to you as someone living with alexithymia. But don't lose hope. There are ways to cope with alexithymia. Seeking help from a therapist can provide a safe space to explore your feelings and learn coping strategies. Practices like meditation and journaling can also help you tune into your emotions. Remember, having alexithymia doesn't mean you're broken. You're just wired differently. Your experiences and emotions are still valid, and you're worthy of connection and understanding. Sometimes, when you're feeling lost and can't quite put your feelings into words, it's like wandering through a thick fog. But even in that fog, there are tiny breaks where things seem clearer, like seeing a splash of color in a gray sky. Those moments are precious. Hold on to them, even if they don't last long, and just keep taking small steps forward. You're stronger than you think, and embrace your journey. So. What's it really like living with alexithymia? And what helps you cope? Share your stories in the comments down below. And if you found this video valuable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.